Welcome back to the Ultimate Mixdown. In this video, we're going to continue with our music production series, working on our EDM pop song. And we did the chords in the last video. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to check that out because we're going to use those as the foundation for this video, which are melodies and bass lines. Be sure to stick through the whole thing for all the tips and leave any questions you have in the comments below. Let's get right into it. Alright, welcome back. So in the last video, we laid down a few chord progressions for different parts of the song. In this video, we're going to start layering down the bass line. We'll start with adding the bass notes to the chord progression, and then we can create our own separate bass track with its own virtual instrument. Oftentimes, a lot of producers will also use the root note of their chords as the bass line and make some kind of variation from there. Now, one of the best ways that you can try out different bass lines or different ideas that you have is to highlight a selected area of the song, typically four or eight bars, where you can play different bass notes in the same key as your chords, or you can draw them in, and then you can play it and hear it over and over again until you find something that you like. Why don't we select our region here, so you can click and drag up in the timeline, and then I'm going to click toggle repeat, which is another phrase for loop. So we're just going to click that, and then when I press play, it's just going to keep looping through this, so I can try out different bass lines to go along with these chords. That's too low. So the bass notes are kind of countering the chords and going in an opposite direction but coming back to meet. One thing I want to point out is you can record over the MIDI file, but if you just click record, it's going to wipe away what you've already done. And then you're left with another MIDI file. That's not what we want here. I want to add these notes to the existing chord progression. So to do that, you can go to this in button right here, click on it, record MIDI, and then we'll do record MIDI overdub. And this now will let us overdub what we record onto the existing MIDI track or the MIDI file. This allows us to add those bass notes in without wiping out the data that we already have. So again, I'm going to start at bar one, beat one, give me a little lead in. Okay, and now we have our bass line. So double click, and if we scroll down, you can see the bass line here. It didn't capture the first note for some reason. I know that it's this note, so I'm just going to copy this and bring it back there. So since we've already quantized and set the velocities for this, we don't want to touch those. So just highlight the notes below, which are the bass notes that we just put in, and then drag them to the top, and then dial them back down. And let's take a listen. Okay, velocities are good. Now while I still have them selected, I'm also going to quantize. So hit the Q key again, and then click OK and that'll quantize them to the grid, so they should play exactly on the grid, just like the chords are. And two things I want to do. One, go back to the chords, make these a little longer. Okay, but we don't want anything overlapping, so let me just make sure about that. You can select the chords and drag them out, make them longer. And these are overlapping here, so I'm going to select these and drag these back. And just go through, comb through it. And then down here is the same thing as well. So these, the lengths are good, but we don't want to overlap. Okay, so we have a baseline. And now let's just select that. Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC to copy. And then let's bring in a base. I'm just going to call this bass, and I'm going to use Locomotive. This is a free VST. We'll just go with the default, which is defallet, and then right here, just Command-V or Control-V, pasting it. So we just copied that bass line just by selecting those notes, copy, paste, all with keyboard commands, nice and quick. So let's listen to that. And 
make sure that this is exactly four bars again. You don't want to have that problem where it's too long or too short and it goes out of time as you duplicate. Now the next thing I want to add, I, I have a melody for this that we should add into this. Let's add another piano for our melody. A piano, melody. Always name your tracks. If you have a project with 50, 70 tracks, you'll be kicking yourself for not naming them. So be sure to do that. I would even go as far to say is keep them organized too. So keep your pianos together, your other instruments, color code them. All right, we'll keep this record armed. We're going to add the same grand piano. Select the inputs. All right, so we, again, we can loop and play around with the melody. I already have something in mind. So as long as toggle repeats on, it's going to loop. There we go. Okay, that's it. I think this melody is going to span beyond what we have, so let's just highlight it, duplicate it, make sure that we have enough of the supporting structure that we can play it on top. And let's record. That's it. So double click, cue to quantize, because some of those notes were a little off. Uh, this I am going to select them all, drag them up, bring them down. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take the harsh ones and bring them back a little bit. All right. And now we're going to... Split, and look at this. This is why you always zoom in on these MIDI items. You want to make sure that you don't have any of that extra junk at the beginning or the end, even here with this melody. And I want this melody to play through twice, so I'll duplicate that. And now we have the melody, the chords, and the bass line for the intro. And I think I'm going to consider this the chorus, too. And then for the bass line. And we'll make sure that that overdub is on. So in the input, record MIDI, record MIDI overdub is on. Quantize everything again. That'll snap these bass notes in. I'll highlight the bass notes and adjust the velocities so that they're all even. We extended the length of the notes, but some of them are still way too short. So I'm just going in and making them a little bit longer. I would say I like the first two bars of this, so let me just get rid of this. Copy, paste, and we have a good progression. All right, and let's get rid of the excess at the end here and at the beginning. And we have four bars. Good. So I also want the melody to play on top of this after it plays through a few times. So I'm going to move all this stuff out, stuff that comes later. Drag that out, bring this in.
I'm just bringing that lead over here as well. So we got this playing. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to stick around for next week's video where we're going to talk about producing and layering in the drums. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining the Ultimate Mixdown.